All right, well, moving right along. I, I don't want to go ad nauseum about it. Um, other thing I wanted to talk about was this little weird thing that was going on between The Rock and Vin Diesel. So, oh, this is so funny. This is fun. This is funny. <laughs> it's fun, right? Just seeing these two guys just go back and forth in social media. And they're not even really good at it. They're, like, really weird and awkward about it. It's like seeing, I don't know, my parents try to tweet. <laughs> so the whole thing is that The Rock is not returning to the Fast and Furious franchise. They had that famous beef that occurred on the set. It went off with The Rock getting his own spinoff series uh, separate from the rest of the franchise that may or may not return it. From the sounds of it, it don't even sound like that's going to happen anymore. Um, but essentially, Vin Diesel tried to put this social media post out there where he essentially tries to extend an olive branch to The Rock to see if he'll return to the franchise and finish things out in Fast and Furious 10. But The Rock ain't, just ain't with the shit. So, <laughs> nope. He is not with it. He actually, ain't like, no. Nah, he, like, turned around and, like, toward Vin Diesel's post apart almost. Yeah. It was like, it doesn't matter what you want. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's weird because there was, like, all this um in inside speak right i guess yeah. there's this thing where paul walker had a nickname pablo, pablo. like i don't i don't right. know I mean, look look I, all, all i know is i've been tracking this for a while and i've been finding it quite hilarious because you know it all started with the rock basically calling out people for being unprofessional later yeah. came out that it was actually vin diesel that was being yeah. unprofessional uh you know just showing up late not really doing his thing on set you know um and then vin diesel twisted that into i'm just making you know <clears throat> i'm pushing these actors especially the rock to be the best that they could be and uh blah 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 and of course the rock heard that and was like yeah okay all right bye right, <laughs> as i'm like, like the number one star out there like i i needed your help all right hold on. Uh, like vin diesel's going to be the guy to push someone's acting ability i'm just saying like <laughs> the rock helped the fast and furious more than it helped him i'm not saying it didn't help him but helped he helped them a lot more. Um, but either way, uh, you know, That's after big. The Rock said, like, and I like what he said because he was like, he was very adamant, not just him, but also his producer. Um, yeah. They both were like, we're done. We wish y'all yeah. the best. Do your thing. Go team. We're just not going to do it. We're going to go right. do this. Hobbs and Shaw too. We're going to make it the antithesis to Fast and Furious, which... I don't know, maybe it's grounded in reality um, and logic and science. Um, <laughs> but, you know, uh, but we're good. That was the respectable, professional way to do it. Then Vin comes around, like you said, hey, little brother, you got to come back. The people want you. And he did this in a public manner, right? And to me, I was just kind of like, yo, this feels mad awkward, you know, to be doing this stuff. When somebody already is like, yeah. I don't want to do it, you know, but then The Rock in that I same was... interview says like he didn't feel that manipulation, you know, that wasn't cool to like try and manipulate the public because now you're almost trying to make The Rock look like the bad guy for not coming back. First off, you know, and it's, he didn't it, even it, do you know, it well. He you bring your brother. kids into this too and stuff. And his kids, yeah. You know, it's like, come on, man. Like, and The Rock admitted, he was like, yo. We had a private conversation one-on-one, yep. -on -one, and, and I told you, public. I'm not coming. Leave me alone. <laughs> and he still don't go make that post. And it's yep. like, that's not cool. Like, this this is exactly reaffirming what Rock was talking about in terms of being unprofessional. Isn't The Rock, like, twice Vin Diesel's size? How you gonna Twice his size, like? probably. How are you going to call him little brother publicly? And then I mean, say, he probably oh, is older than The Rock. Still, it doesn't seem I don't, I don't know if when you start off like that. <laughs> it seems very I insincere. I know. I, I I was just like, like Vin is... Now, here's the one thing, and I, I'm not going to put this past either one of them, but there is a theory that this all could be for show. This, this could be a WWE-style promotion for Fast 10 to be like, no, I'm not coming back. Just like what Andrew Garfield... You yeah. know, just, yeah. uh, now this could all be a ploy. This could yo, all be marketing. This could but be here's marketing. where I think here's where I think it, it might show up at the post credit scene and blow everybody away. 
The Rock is at a point in his career now versus where he was when he started in the Fast and Furious franchise where he doesn't need he the does Fast not. and Furious franchise. At ben all. Diesel needs it, right? He, he does. doesn't have any other film franchise outside of it that has been successful. Yep. Right? He tried that one where he was trying to be a wit, a witch well, hunter. He tried the pitch black. And he tried Triple X. He tried, but... yeah, he tried Chronicles of Riddick. He's tried a couple different things where he tried to get his own franchise that could be a companion franchise to the Fast and Furious. None of them have worked. The mm -hmm. Rock, on the other hand, he attached himself to the Fast and Furious for a while. G.I. Joe fizzled out, all those other things fizzled out. But then he started getting um, the, the the Jumanji movies. Now he's got the Jungle Cruise, and that's <laughs> Jungle Cruise made a lot of business for him. And now he's got yeah. Disney movies, and he's got more opportunity to do more business with Disney beyond this. In addition to that, he's a superhero. He's yeah. getting his own superhero movie very soon he's gonna be well, black Adam. Not, not a hero he, he's a anti-villain you know that can work that can really really work so with everything that the rock has going on with his relationships with disney his relationship with warner brothers his um his, his various tv shows that he just keeps popping up with right he had that like american gladiator show he got like little rock he's he's on he was on uh that football show dude he keeps popping up with tv shows and movies he doesn't need the Fast and Furious anymore. True. So it's part of me is like, because he doesn't need it, he might be being sincere. It might be his own. Oh, opinion. I believe that too. Like, right? it, I, I believe more that he is adamant about not coming rather than the, the, the whole ploy theory. Like, I, I really right. think he's for real. Like, I'm good. The only reason I could see him saying he's good or uh, pretending is if he's posturing for more money. If he wants to bring, I mean, his rate demands the money. Period. Yeah. Like right. There, there, but Fast you don't and Furious, negotiate. I don't think he was rate. getting the rate that he gets now. When he I'm started saying, with like, the Fast and Furious, he well, he wasn't I, as because I know the star. rates are different depending on the type, right? So there's a certain rate if you're a supporting character of yeah. the Rock's caliber. There's a certain rate. If you're the lead actor, you know, right. top billing. Um, and there's a certain rate if you're going to be an ensemble. Because sometimes with the ensembles, because they can't afford everybody's top rate, yeah. maybe they give you something like, all right, we'll give you the cut on the box office. You know, now, and, and you, we pay you little now, and you make residual later. But this is kind of what started their beef, right? Because yeah. The Rock was getting a certain billing compared to the others, and then it affected all their pay, and then there was this whole thing about him spinning off into his own movie so it doesn't affect them. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, if he's going to come back, he's going to be like, look, all right, you know my rate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Anyway. But I don't I don't yeah. even think it's a money thing. Like, I think, I think Rock is, at least based off of his comments, he's legitimately irritated with Vin Diesel. Like, he just does not want to work with him. And I don't but blame money him. could change I mean, people's minds. Money can, but The Rock ain't hurting for money. Like, he's not hurting for money, got, but he's got with, tequila there's brands. There's lots of actors and... who are not hurting for money that still take the money, right? When they I start can. going into a movie, they don't say, oh, well, I'm so well off, you can lower my rate, unless it's their friend. You're right, right. Unless it's a bro movie. Yeah. You know? Like, bro, <laughs> come and do this movie with me. Come on, bro. Okay, exactly. bro. Exactly. Exactly. Right, I can see him doing that for like maybe directors that help break him in or something right. like that. But that's about it. Right. Anyway, that that was a fun little side thing that they have going on. I don't know what's going to come of it. I don't know what's going to happen in this fast movie. I still got to catch up on the fast franchise. I, I Do you? Like Do you? I might just skip ahead and just watch the latest one. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. <laughs> 